All right, I'm going to do a fast video on 0.5%. I'm pretty sure you could figure out most uh, uh, got videos. There's tons of videos on uh, slope. Uh, I've done a couple. This one's 0.5%, so it's a little tricky. You see it on the drawings. You might think it's 5%. The decimal's already been moved. You forget. So the decimal equivalent for 5% is for 0.5 percent is 0 0.005 no, I didn't write P. 0 0.005 so that means I've got a 10 foot run here and I want to know what the height is so this is kind of typical if they just if if the engineer or the architects want just enough slope so that you don't get a bird bath like very small percent, easy to build, not uh, super, super shallow. It's very shallow of a slope, but it's not so, uh, anyways, 0.5 is small. And uh, the decimal equivalent of 0.5% is because it's 0.5, move the decimal two places to the left, 0.12, you get 0 0.005. I think that's where the confusion is. So maybe you forgot the rule. Anyway, so we're gonna take 10, tools calculator and multiply 10 feet 10 times 0 0.005 equals and we'll get 0 0.05 right so this is 0 0.05 feet all right and there you go that's how it's done and then you want to convert 0 0.05 feet to 0 0.05 and then you're going to take it times 12 is it's five hundredths of a foot, so you multiply it by 12, you get 0. 0.6 inches. And the equivalent of 0. 0.6 inches is like 5 eighths. So we end up with, you don't want to give it to them. A lot of times people know what decimal feet is, but you might want to give it to them. Feet and inches, there you go. And that's how you calculate 5.5%. If it was, uh, any, you know, let's say it's uh, 21 feet, and it's something smaller, but easier to see. The about uh, five foot uh, seven and a half or something. Point, uh, six two. So they get the equivalent of, let's just go through the whole process. Five foot seven and a half, you go uh, five, uh, seven point five divided by 12 plus seven der, uh, divided by 12. Let's go, I forgot how, let's do it again. Seven plus, so I think we gotta do a parenthesis. Seven plus, divided by 12, close parentheses, right? That's the decimal equivalent, Put divided by 12, uh, plus five, right? Five plus, it's five foot seven and a half. That'll give us the decimal equivalent. And then we're gonna, mold, let's just copy that, control C, control V, And that's going to give us the decimal equivalent, 5.625 feet. And then we're going to multiply that times 0 0.005. And that'll give us uh, decimal feet. But, uh, so that's decimal feet. So it's 0 0.0281. Control C. Let's just put that in there. T equals control V. We could have just we could have just done it all to inches. So let's do that. So that gives you 0 0.028 feet. So it's about three eighths of an inch. And then to get that times 12 and 
center and it'll give you inches, 0.3 inches times so three eighths of an inch times eight, right? Eight will give you three, right? 0.279 rounds up to three, so it's equals three eighths. T equals three eighths. Inches, right? And let's just do it all in inches. So that'd be 567.5, 67.5 times 0 0.005. Enter, and we get the same number 0.3375 inches. So we multiply that by 8 to get 8 times 8. And you get 3 8 rounds up to 3 8 If we went uh, let's do that again, 67.5 divided by, oh, divided by, no, times 0 0.005 equals, we get that same number, and then uh, if you wanted sixteenths, just multiply by 16, and it gives five, five sixteenths, right? So it's a little more accurate, depending on what you were looking for. <clears throat> That's how you do a, uh, 0 0.005 slope so it's this pretty minimal slope so if you see that that's how you get your rise so that that might be uh useful to you so whatever the, the length of the run is multiply it by the, the 0 0.005 and that will give you the rise the amount of rise for that run hope that helps in your career thanks for watching